How's it going friends? Reckless Yugi here. Hope you guys are doing a fantastic thing. You guys been checking out the video. I do greatly appreciate it. And in this video I thought I'll do is show you guys how to build a small compact PC, which I think would be perfect for college students. And if you guys know me, I'm a full-time student currently in college, so I kind of know what the college student kind of wants. I know that they want something very small, compact, and portable. And one of the things that are really attractive for a college student, for a gamer, is a gaming laptop. Now, I'm personally not a fan of a gaming laptop because the temperatures aren't always that good. And as far as the components you get in it, it's a lot more economically feasible to get a desktop, but a lot of people don't like the size of desktops. So I decided to build something that wasn't too absurdly large. And it's basically this. Basically, it's a small mini ITX build. Um, it can run games at 1080p, 60 frames per second at max settings, depending on the game. Now, it can't do that with Crisis 3, but I did a heaven test bench with it. Max settings on Ultra, uh, full anti-aliasing, and this was able to maintain an average of 60.6 .6 frames per second. Um, it dropped down a bit. It definitely had some high points, just... So that's just the nature of the Heaven Test Bench, but I was able to handle it just fine, so I think this is a pretty awesome build. And as you can see, it is decently small. I put this handle on it just so that you can carry it if you want. This is TSA approved. Um, you, will, you will be able to uh, take this onto carry-on as carry-on luggage onto your planes. I recently did one of these builds for a friend who got deported back to Mexico. If you're watching this, David, I'm very sorry. I hope you are doing well. Um, I still have the video footage of that. I need to edit and upload. But this is my second time building in this case, and this is a Fractal Design Core 500. Absolutely love this case. I think this is just a fantastic build, especially if you want something small and compact. And it's able to keep temperatures decently cool. Don't really worry about trying to overclock this too much. Um, just kind of run it at stock settings, but you'll be fine. I was able to maintain.
that's it. That's the video. That's how you build this little PC. That's just a beautiful gem when it comes to gaming performance. I really do like the performance of this, especially for the cost of only $780. And if you're wondering why did I build this PC? Well, I did build this for the purposes of this video to kind of show you guys who are in college who might be interested in building a PC for yourself, especially if you're tired of the consoles, which I definitely am. Uh, as you know, I have a PC behind me that's an absolute beast, so having this is absolutely useless for me. And the reason why I built it is to make this video and also to do a fundraising drive at my school. Uh, we're going to be raffling this off to one lucky student. Uh, basically, it'll be $10 a ticket. Uh, I know that doesn't really apply to you guys at home, but I'll just let you know why I built this. And so it's going to be $10 a ticket, and I'm going to raffle off in all proceeds and basically everything, including the cost that I spent on this machine, is going to be donated to St. Baldrick's uh, Foundation, which is a cancer research for children. I think it's a very good foundation. It's what my fraternity is backing this semester, and so I felt that I would build this PC in hopes to generate funds to donate to the St. Baldrick Foundation. So I think it'll be a pretty cool charity drive as well. Um, along with this, I'm going to be donating a monitor. I found a pretty good deal on the refurbished BenQ, a Velocifier keyboard that I reviewed in the past, as well as a G303 Logitech gaming mouse and a headset that I have laying around will be raffled off with this. So I think it's a pretty legit setup. It's about a little over a grand for this complete gaming setup, but I thought it was pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think at home, especially if you made it to the end. Uh, hope you guys are in support of me doing charities like this because it does definitely feel good to do something positive with the little bit of YouTube change that I make here on YouTube. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys watch the next one and I'll see you guys in that next one. Bye.